All right, there's some 303. Look at their British stuff. And I knew I was gonna forget something and I did. I forgot the Japanese rounds of 77 brimless for this rifle. But I wasn't really gonna shoot those anyway. There was a Japanese soldier, a lot of people probably heard of him, Lieutenant Onada. He hid out in the Philippines until 1974. And anyway, he was low on ammunition, so so he took 303, or the Japanese version of 303. The Japanese did, or the Navy, I believe, used a round that was very similar to the 303. It was rim like this. It was, it was pretty much a 303. And what he would do is, for hunting purposes, is he had filed the rim off to fit in his Type 99 Arasaka. So that's what I've tried. Now, the whole round will fit in the, in the rifle with this rim on it, but the bolt won't close. So I took three of these, and this one I hand filed, and then these other two I, I chucked them in a drill press and used a file to turn uh, the rim down. Now I didn't turn it down all the way. It, they seemed to fit like this. They didn't extract, but I'm gonna try it. I don't really know where this rifle shoots. I haven't shot it very much. I've had it a long time, but just really haven't shot it very much, except like it's some water bottles and things. I'm gonna try to shoot that little, or big steel target down there, it's orange. We found that out in the desert. It's uh, not too blurry, but it's like a little silhouette of a man. Yeah, and these are cock on closing. That's one thing I don't like about these. Well, that definitely took two hands. Um, the one I hand filed, I, I got it to fit on the bolt face and then I stuck the whole bolt with the round already in it into the chamber. And right now, just dropping it in, it didn't want to load. The bolt wouldn't close, so I used one of the other ones. And I was reading that Onada had quite a few misfires. Don't know if it's anything similar to the problem I just had. I'll give it a little bit and then open it, open it up and recock it. All right, we'll try this again. Same round. I didn't pull it out and look at it. I just recocked the bolt real quick. Oh, that's interesting. I'll try one of the other ones. I have a feeling it's not going to work. So there's not even a mark on it. Maybe, maybe it's good it didn't go off. Maybe the headspace is so far off. I mean, it seemed like it was decent. This rim won't let it go in the chamber any further. I, mean, I did some playing with it at my house. See, I can get this one on. And the bolt holds and I could slide it in. I'm pretty sure it would go off, but... I'm wondering if that's an omen, that's a sign that the headspace is that far off. I'd hate to have a case head separation. And uh, you know, I probably wouldn't get hurt with this gas hole, but... Probably blow the wood out on the rifle at least. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna play with it a little bit more before I proceed. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a more careful check of the headspace, how, how much it's off. And I do wonder now if, if that, that was Onata's one of Onata's problems. 
is if these were just marginally going off and he thought the primers were bad but it was really the headspace issue. Here's a steel target we found. The 762 by 39 hits right there, right there. There's 223. I sighted the ARN about 50 yards the other day. Seemed all right, but at this 200 yards, it's definitely hitting high and to the right. Mostly to the right, I'm not so worried about the height, that seems, but definitely to the right. But anyway, I put this plate on the front of it. It's pretty shot up, as you can see. It was stashed behind a bush has holes all the way through it. I bolted a smaller plate right here and then I got this plate so I can hang it and get some more use out of it.